today guys we are back with another video today we are going to be spray painting my caliper brakes today and we have chosen to go for red on the uh, white fiesta so um leave a comment down below if you agree with my color choice on a white car if not let me know down below what color you would go for and if you haven't already go down below hit that like button and subscribe so let's go get into it now if you guys haven't already make sure to go down and hit that like button below and give the channel subscribe uh, it's very much appreciated so we are going to get back into the video so i'll see you in a minute so i've taken the hub off my wheels i'm now going to loosen the bolt slightly and jack the car up so let's get into that now that the car is jacked up i'm going to take the wheels off in three two one there we go and away with these so the next step we are going to do is we need to sand down and clean the calipers before we apply the paint. So I am going to turn my wheels so that I can easily get to this easier. So today we are going to use just some standard sandpaper. You can use a wire drill bit on a drill, but for today we're just gonna stick to the standard sandpaper. So we're gonna now switch to a time lapse of me sanding down the calipers. So we are actually going to switch to the drill wire brush for some of these smaller grooves just to get in there. So let's get straight onto that now. So the calipers are all sanded down now and we are now going to use some brake cleaner to give them a wipe down to get that brake up. It's best if you use quick drying brake cleaner. As another good measure as well, it's always good to use alcohol wipes as well on top of this. Just to give the surface a good clean. Get all this dirt off. So we are actually going to use bin bags and masking tape to wrap up the calipers. You want to make sure you wrap up any of the rubber tubing or anything like that because they will disintegrate if you put the caliper spray on them and fill up any of the holes like there and the holes leading to the back of the brake pads and then we're just going to run bin bags around the rest of the car. So let's get that put on now. So we have masking taped off any of the parts I do not want to spray, so all of the rubber parts, the rubber seals, and the back of the uh, brake calipers, and any of the other bits I just don't want to spray red. So we are now going to add the bin bags around the caliper now, so let's get into that. So I have actually ripped a small hole in the bin bag, and I'm going to feed the caliper through that, so I'm going to put the bin bag on all the way around till we have just like that now I'm going to wrap up the rest of the car and I'll be back with you in a moment so I have added the black bin bags around the car so we don't get any of the spray paint on the white paint so we are now ready to add the first coat for the first coat i'm only going to add a very light coat because we don't want to let it drip at all so we'll get on to doing that now 
Make sure we give it a good shake before you spray. Let's add the first coat. Now we've got to make sure that we have to wait between 15 and 30 minutes for this to dry and then we will add another coat to it again after that. So I will be back when we do the next coat. So we are going to add the next coat now. So we're on the second coat now. The first coat is now dried. Let's get to that. So we're going to do a little bit of a thicker coat this time. And now that that coat is on, we're going to let this new coat dry now. Okay, so the second coat is now done. We are now going to add the third coat now, so we're going to be getting even more thicker on the layer now. So let's get into that now. The third coat is now done. We will now let this sit for another 15 minutes to dry and then we will add a fourth coat onto it. So keeping getting thicker on the coats each time as we're going along. So we are now back for the fourth coat now. Uh, the third coat is now dried. I left it a little bit longer to dry this time because the coat was a little bit thicker. So we'll probably leave this next coat a little bit longer as well to dry. So let's get on with the next coat. There we go, so that is the fourth coat on and now we are going to leave it to dry again for probably a little bit longer. I might go for half an hour from this this time because it is quite a thick coat and after that we might do one more coat depending on how it comes out so I will see you when we finish that. So we are going to be actually adding the final coat now to the calipers. The last coat is now dried so we'll be adding this final coat and then hopefully this should be all done and then we can put the wheel back on and see what it looks like so let's get on with this There we go, I think that is the final coat done. So we are going to leave this to dry and then I will be putting the wheel back on and then we will be seeing what it looks like. So let's leave this to dry and let's get back to it. 
So this layer is there about dry now, so I am actually going to start peeling off some of the masking tape and starting to take off all of the covering. So let's start peeling this off. Set you down there. We're actually going to use a screwdriver here just to peel this off. Is it stuck? There we go. Probably going to get a bit of paint on my fingers here, but. So I will get back to you once I have peeled all of these bits of masking tape off. Look at that. See, all the rubber parts on the calipers are all nice and paint free, as you can see there. See, I've started taking off the bits. I've got a few couple more bits left to take off, and then we can start taking off the rest of the bin bags. Let's go. So I've now removed all of the masking tape from the caliper. So all of the rubber bits are clear, the back side of the brake pads and all of the bits that lead into the discs, all nice and clear and paint free, except from the bolt on the bottom of there, but at least it wasn't the rubber tip bits. Um, now all I'm going to do is take off the bags and then the wheel is going to go back on to the car and then we're going to see what it looks like. So let's get into that. So. All of the black bin bags are now off. And look at that. All done. All the masking tape's been removed and all the bin bags. Now we're going to put the wheel back on and see what it looks like with the wheel. So let's put the wheel back on now. So the wheel is half back on. Just got to put the jack down and finish tightening it up. It looks sick. Definitely much better improvement. So let's finish putting this jack down. So we just got to finish tightening the wheel and then we will be done. So let's get onto tightening the rest of this wheel and yeah, then we'll finally be done with the calipers. So it has actually been a few weeks since the last clip, um, so the calipers are looking great on the car. I think the red just brings out the white car ten times better, the car's filthy at the moment. Um, but if you did like this video, uh, go down below, hit that subscribe button and that like button, that would be much appreciated. So I'll see you later.